Well, another Friday is upon us as we begin uh, the Friday vlog for September 4th. It is 5.36. We're somewhere back on the mark again. Uh, we have been off our schedule for the last couple of days. Uh, I'm still uh, wiped out. Uh, I shouldn't be up at this point in time, but it looks like my time is shifting again. It is just about... Well, it just it, it just has peak it it, it it it's peak or or valley. The lowest temperature was around fifty five degrees. It just ticked up and now to fifty eight degrees. Uh, we have a uh, vortex coming into us. This was causing uh, uh, the cooling effect that's above of above uh, Toronto. I just finished. I just finished my gaming, and I do this. I do this in, in sleep, in, in somewhat of a sleep mode. I'm still somewhat asleep. I'm not fully awake. I'm not f fully in the sense in terms of the way I perceive things. The perception that I have now is the same perception and awareness that I have when I'm in a dream. And it's kind of like it's kind of like being intoxicated because things move a little slower. It you have to pay attention to your enunciation, the words you say, and how you say the words. And it does seem to be, if I don't, if I'm not careful, it sounds like I'm drunk. And this is, in many ways, it is a form of intoxication because your cognitive functions are somewhat impaired. Uh, what I've done now is I've slowed everything down so I'm not uh, rushing as much through my mind the way I, the way I was doing before I, with, when I was uh, ending the vlog uh, for uh, the, third, the, the third and the fourth. You know, Thursday's vlog. Which ended maybe a half hour to an hour ago. Yeah, about an hour ago. And the teas I've been making, the tea I've been making, uh, is helping out a lot. There's two different teas I have. And in terms of my intestinal uh, issues, in terms of the neuromuscular disorder, it's helped out significantly. Uh, I feel better. I feel more relaxed. I don't feel as uh, the, the tension that was in the intestine isn't there anymore. It seems like the muscles are now starting to relax better. Uh, so I'm happy that, that the, the new regimen is actually starting to work out. Uh, I'm going to continue on this. The, the, the second tea that I've added in is a, basically a date tea. It is, in, in, in its sense, it is a lot... Um, it's significantly less concentrated. I did a lighter tea uh, as opposed to a darker tea or as a, as a more uh, concentrated tea uh, as with the ones that I have, the, the, the one that I have as my uh, sort of my main drink that I have a milk tea with. So I have a milk tea one and I have a non-milk tea one. Uh, and the date the date tea is the uh, non-milk tea and there's, another, there's one called uh, uh, I think it's called Pur T. It's P U E R H T. T E T E A T. Not, not, the, not as the letter T. And there we go again. I'm gonna watch my volume, and I have to watch the slurring of words. Mm, but that's kind of <laughs> so. I've got the two T's. Uh, I'm, as I said, I'm living in my Asian heaven because uh, uh, I am in a Pan-Asian neighborhood, so I have all the foods I want. Uh, I make everything, so. That's it for now. We'll see you in a couple hours. Uh, I'm probably going to go take a sleep break right now, and um, we'll see what continues on in terms of the... Uh, 
uh, nocturnal operational op operation nocturnal explorations. Well, it's time for another boxing. Another package arrived. So let's open this up. It's going to take me a bit of time. Find the right point to get it open with. And what came in is my drill. I have my second place and I left my drill up there and I haven't been in a while so needed a new drill. Drill. So this is a lithium ion drill. The other one is corded so this is uh, my cordless drill. Pretty cool. Nice, it got some good, good weight to it. Let's get the keelish chuck here. Okay, good. Make sure it tightens up. Yeah, it's tightening. Oh, very good. Very nice as a drill. And it's got, uh, let's see, came with the right cord to plug things in. put this down here for now. Here's the battery. It's a 36 volt. Now let's plug it in and charge it up. So that's it. It's the uh, battery came in. Uh, the, the, the 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 drill with the ba the battery came in. So that's uh, yay for that. That's our unboxing for today. Oh, it's about 2.30 in the morning. I think it's uh, almost I said August. It's actually September 5th. <laughs> uh, I'm in a really bizarre state again. It's, 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 uh, I don't really know why it is the way it is, but it is. Uh, I've been binge-watching at uh, eight, eight Passengers. Uh... Then I went over to his sister's channel, uh, Bonnie Holleran, and so I'm just going to finish up here, and basically I'm adding to the sort of, called the, the auxiliary path, the alternative paths of uh, the YouTube, uh, YouTube stroll. 
then the day has gone pretty well. It's been more than 12 hours for the day in terms of uh, what I did, in you know, in, ter in terms of being, being awake, but at the same time, I was never able to sort of shake the, uh, uh, altered state that I'm in. And I, I don't, a lot of times I don't really know why I'm in an altered state, I just know that I am. And so that's kind of how things go, but the, the drill has worked well. I made a batch of bacon. I used the pan. It was too big for the, it was too big for the oven, just a little bit too big, uh, for the oven that I have. And... But if I ground down the edges, there's, a lot of times there's, a fa there's fancy trimming on the edges of a lot of these uh, baking pans. So I ground down the uh, the edges, and it fits fine. As a matter of fact, it's going to be one of my better pans that I've ever had. I took pictures of my uh, tea that I've steeped. Uh, so Instagram is going well. Instagram is now connected to uh, uh, my WordPress, uh, my Kauai Tea House on WordPress. So, th things are starting to progress. So, it, 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 it's all in all been very successful in terms of what I've achieved or, or, or how I've progressed. But yet, don't know where things are going right now. Right now, I'm in a sort of state that... Uh, We'll sort of see, have to see how how everything kind of plays out, and we'll see when the when the when the uh, when the uh, vlog actually ends and when it starts again for the weekend. This is the Friday vlog still. Well, it is time to end the vlog for uh, for Friday's vlog. It is about two o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, uh, September fourth, I believe. Let me check the date and time on my other devices. No, it's September fifth. <laughs> uh, off on a day, off on one day off. Uh, that, that happens, uh, uh, as you were doing 24-7. I realized, as, uh, as I was thinking about it more, a lot of times when I'm in an alt state, I can't, um, uh, I can't articulate what I'm do what's happening. Uh, but I realized afterwards, and this is sometimes <laughs> it happens, it actually happens a lot. It's after you finish a conversation, right? And you're asked a question, and you don't really know the answer to the question at that time. And at least it appears you don't know the answer to the question. It, the answer comes to you maybe a half hour, 45 minutes later, or, you know, ah, oh, there it is, that's the answer. Uh, same thing happened, uh, I think it was last night, it was around 2 o'clock in the morning, I had vlogged. Uh... I was just going out to check some other things that need to be checked. And then I just ended up, I ended up uh, shutting down uh, for a bit and getting some rest. And I realized as I was going into my sleep mode, and that's where things shift to dreams, I realized the alt state, what was happening in my altered state is the dreams that... Uh, I have when I'm sleeping come to me while I'm awake. In other words, I'm in a position where even though I'm awake, the dreams are still active. I guess this is one of the, the problems of being a lucid dreamer, that when you're a lucid dreamer and you're aware of the dreams, that the, the, the reality of the world doesn't shut down. In other words, you're simply in another world. And that level of awareness, when you wake up, can stay with you. Even all day long, you, you, all, throughout the entire waking, waking day, and that's what gives you the altered state. It gives you the, the bizarre feelings. And I know every once in a while, 
I was sitting in, and there's sort of, you know, the, there is a break in my concentration. That uh, dreams will come back to me in a flash. I'll have a sensation. I'll have, uh, and at the same time, this, the memory of one particular dream or one particular incident in my life. Uh, and it's almost in, almost as if in that instant that time sort of disappears and you're connected at all points in time and space uh, with, between yourself and that event that occurred maybe even 20 years ago. And it's the sort of the, the, the closest thing I can describe to... Uh, What's supposed to be happening, and this is sort of along the line of metaphysics, uh, in the church services where the awareness of uh, of the entirety of heaven and space, the the, the entirety of um, you know the the, the life of Christ, uh, uh, birth uh, from birth to death, and into all all with all the saints. That you're present at every single point in time, at point in time, but you haven't actually moved. It's, everything's coming to you, and it presents a, a, a degree of simultaneity that you don't. You only see basically the only place that's really sort of explained it is within, within quantum physics, uh, um, and the only fictionalized version of this is either Doctor Who or uh, uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation. They have an explanation of this. Although I find Star Trek The Next Generation to have a better explanation of the simultaneity of time uh, than and, and, and the motion that, that we don't move, everything comes to us. In other words, there is no astral projection because we aren't projecting ourselves. Things are coming to us. We are involved in an instant through every point in time and space. This is the singularity. This is the uh, simultaneity. Uh, these are a number of uh, 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 things that pop up in quantum physics. And so what happens? It's basically work. So I just now got up uh, from there. Well, not really just now. I, 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 I checked my mail. I had to uh, check my office to, to make sure everything's okay and that the... Uh, uh, I have the uh, I have the air system going that uh, that, that uh, sort of creates an equilibrium. Uh, check my observational post. So I did all that work before I did this, before I came here, and now I have some gaming to do. I haven't got, but I, I will be, I'm, or I might not be. It depends on what happens the rest of the day. I might get back to the YouTube stroll, uh, probably around uh, three, four o'clock if not earlier. Uh, it really depends on what happens in between. Anyways, this is the end this is the end for uh, the vlog for September fourth. It's on the fifth because we we're twenty four seven. And it doesn't matter you know, this this is not an issue of feeling worth it or not. I this is what we're talking about, things that are outside the whole thing concept of uh, you are worth it. And the thing is, if it works, if, if if this thing works for you, like I'm not knocking uh, uh, the Tannerites for this. This isn't that at all. It's sort of examining it and exploring it. Uh, and, and the thing is, it, it is worth discussing because a number of people use these so-called positive affirmations to sort of make themselves feel better in order to get things done. But at all times, you may not always be feeling good in terms of about yourself. In some cases, they have it has no bearing whatsoever, and this is with the last few days where I'm in altered state. It has nothing to do with my sense of work. It just that's the way it was, and you work your way through it. It's part of an experience, and if you explore like me, yeah, that's good because you're now exploring something new. Uh, if you're not a person like me who doesn't enjoy uh, uh, experiences that are unknown. You know, more button down, more orderly person. Then, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a, a nerve wrecking, uh, uh, a nerve wrecking uh, type of uh, event. Anyways, doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not. No refunds.